There being no dissenting voice, I declare the motion carried. A Canadian bill to ban gay conversion therapy passed unanimously. Now, I'll get to more on why this was able to pass, but first, here's the moment that it happened. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm asking for unanimous consent to adopt the following motion, that notwithstanding any standing order or usual practices of the House, Bill C-4, an act to amend the criminal code, conversion therapy be deemed to have been read a second time and referred to a committee of the whole, deemed considered in committee of the whole, deemed reported without amendment, deemed concurred in at the report stage, and deemed read a third time and passed. This being a hybrid sitting of the House for the sake of clarity, I will only ask those who are opposed to the request to express their disagreement. Accordingly, all those opposed to the Honourable Member moving the motion will please say nay. Agreed. The House has has heard the terms of the motion. All those opposed to the motion will please say nay. There being no dissenting voice, I declare the motion carried. All right. So in a second here, I'll get to two reasons in particular as to why this was able to pass unanimously. But first, look, I almost didn't cover this because to me, this is an obvious thing to do. Like, yes, of course, we should ban gay conversion therapy. Lawmakers don't deserve credit for the bare minimum. But the reality is, in this cultural climate, gay rights is not a given. So we shouldn't assume they are. And I think, you know, seeing what happened in the U.S. over the past four years, we have to keep in mind that certain rights are not just a given and that we should continue to pursue these rights and ensure that certain things like gay conversion therapy are banned because they are so disgusting and destructive. But you also need to understand why there is no opposition, no real opposition to this. For one, corporations obviously don't care. Uh, I mean, they don't want to offend the gay community. Obviously, they employ many members of the LGBTQ community, so they're not going to be opposed to this. But the other reason, and this is <laughs> this goes to why it passed unanimously, this from CBC. While Liberal MPs repeatedly thanked leaders in the Conservative caucus for rallying support for the bill, some also acknowledged that another vote on the issue could have been damaging for the Tories. The House's decision to fast-track Bill C-4 means there was no requirement for each MP to record their vote. Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole, who has taken a more progressive stance on LGBTQ issues since becoming leader, said earlier Wednesday that he would once again allow his caucus to have a free vote on the bill, even though 62 Conservative MPs voted against a previous version of the bill. So this is the main reason right here. There was no requirement for each MP to record their vote because it was passed unanimously. So because they aren't the ones that are against it aren't necessarily on the record as being against it. It's I mean, this worked out for them perfectly. So whatever, <laughs> and I'm glad it passed. But because this process exists is, I think, really the only reason it was able to pass unanimously. That said, I don't want to be, you know, be too negative in this story. It's a great thing that this happened. It was almost weird (laughs) to see, you know, Parliament there, you know, applauding each other, shaking hands, all of them in unison on this. That very rarely happens. And if it's going to happen, it's only really going to happen on a, on a, you know, a, a cultural issue like this. That said, this is still very important. And it was great to see that this ban passed. 